Thanks for staying with the news hour on Trust TV. Now to more news. Following the recent discovery of teenage Nigerian girls trafficked to Ghana for the purpose of prostitution, mothers in Imo State have come out to condemn the disturbing trend. Trust TV's Ajibadi Praise has the details in this report. Though the girls have been rescued and are now in safe hands at the Nigeria Embassy in Ghana, courtesy of the Diaspora Ministry, led by Abike Dabiri Erewa, who said they are expected to be ferried back to Nigeria in no distant time. That one Nigeria guy yes, uh, has brought these ladies here, maltreating them, beat them, send them for prostitution and other things. So we for prostitution? Yes. So we sent our rescue team to go for the girls. So when they went there, this morning, fortunately, they were able to get all of them uh, from the guy and we were able to apprehend the guy. He was arrested. Parents, especially mothers who brought their minds on the matter, discouraged the act. They urged parents to be vigilant and pay keen attention to their children and never be carried away by any promise of a better life outside the shores of Nigeria, which they are not sure of. You shouldn't allow anybody to come and tell you that I want to take your child to somewhere where she will make money for you. Once, once they are saying that kind of thing, please just reject it and tell them that you don't want. I know the country is very hard and it's not really easy now. Things are really happening. But that does not give you a license for you to just release your child just like that to people. Uh, my advice is that if you have a female child, make sure that you turn that child by yourself. Speaking further, the mothers reiterated their call on the state and federal governments to provide better living conditions for Nigerians to mitigate the dangerous trend. The government too is that they should try hard to provide jobs for the people so that the world, the Nigeria will be a place of safety and love. We can come together and make it a better place. Well, I would advise the government to provide jobs. All those uh, upcoming girls, like 15, 16 years, government should help us and provide jobs for them. While they blame the parents of the teenage girls for the negligence, they said the bulk of the blame is on the leadership of the country who failed to provide the actual dividends of democracy. A scenario that has made most youths lost hope in their motherland and are all in a haste to flee out of the country following the prevailing hardship. Ajiba de Praise, Trust TV News, Oweri. Thanks to Ajiba de Praise for that report. And moving on, the National Drug Law Enforcement.